Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we've got this ceiling fan. It's pretty cool. We're going to open this up. We're going to take the old ceiling fan down out of mom's room and we're going to put this one up and we're going to check it out. It's remote control. Should be pretty handy for her. Okay, so let's get this opened up. Let's see what comes in the box. This was sent to me from a company that sends me some things to try out. And do quick videos on. So, But this one, I'm going to do a video for them and a video for you guys. So the color is white, it is a 19 inch fan. Okay, we have some hardware here. And the instructions. This looks like the remote control. It's got a little holster that you can hang on your wall or on your nightstand beside you now let's open this up or let's get this out Whoa, look at that that is nice very nice Okay, so we're going to have to go take the other fan down so we can get this one hung up in its place. Should be pretty self-explanatory, but I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. So let me get you set up in the bedroom, take the other fan down, and we'll get this one started on putting it up and hooking it up. Okay, guys, so now... I have the power turned off. I'm going to take this off the globe. Monkey had this fan installed before we got together, and she says she never liked it so. It is an LED fan, this beautiful fan, very expensive fan. Uh, <clears throat> so we're going to try the one that the company has sent me. And hopefully, it'll be all right. This one was making some noise. It stopped, but it would only do one speed. And I'm thinking it just needed to be oiled, but. It started working again, so um, we're just going to go ahead and take it down because I'd have to take it down anyway to oil it. So we're going to put up a new one. I'm going to I'm going to speed you up through this process Well, I'll just go ahead and make a cut because you get the idea. I've got to take these fan blades off. Take one off and then you'll get the idea. Okay, there's one. Now I'm going to do that to the other four blades. And now we're just taking off the uh, light assembly here. And there's the light assembly out. Now, we have to take the top off 
and I've got to get a short screwdriver for that because the screws are hidden up on top. And I'm going to have to go get, see if I got one of the elbow Phillips screwdrivers because this is still too long to go up in there. So it looks like there's there's three screws up there. So let me go see if I got an one that's shaped like an L. I don't have one, but I do have this bit and this quarter inch wrench here. That will work. So again, this is going to take a few minutes. So I'm going to kick you back on once I get the last screw out. Turns out there was four of them up there. And these, I can tell you, are cross-threaded. Well, this there was three out of the four that were put in at an angle. Like I said, I didn't put this fan up, so... Now, that's screwed in down through the top, so I'm not sure, never seen it set up quite like this before. This is screwed on to this down through here alright there we go so let's go ahead two just has to be loosened and two have to come clear out There's the two that have to come out. Now we're going to loosen these two. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's a weird setup. There we go. Now we're going to stop. Okay. Another sh Usually... They have a hook that you can hook these on and hang them while uh, while you're working on these. This one don't have that. The new one does. Okay, so we've got alright. There's our ground. Got red. Okay, white to white, black to black, so they did that right. Alright, there's that. Take the ground wire off. Alright. Now we're unhooked. We can set this down in a nice spot where I can trip over it. Alright. Now, and that's a straight. And this is a Phillips Ore straight. that well, let me go get a standard screwdriver and we're going to take this off and then this will be already this will be down so or 
our new fan will be mounted to the ceiling, to the drywall itself. Okay, you get the idea. That's a that's a really long screw there. go I'm gonna get a bag and put all these screws in so we're gonna start with hooking up our wires they are color-coded and labeled this is your live wire it's the black one this is your neutral wire so it's got an N on it that's your white wire and this is your ground so we're gonna start we're gonna slide this over top of here Now I'm putting these little extension wires on because it'll be easier to hook up once we get it up inside where we have to where we have to be. So I'm going to take this off and put this on here and I'm going to bring it over to where the black is. So we're going to go black to black, white to white and ground to ground. Now I'm going to be using a blue wire for my ground. Because I don't have a green wire this size. But it doesn't matter as long as you get the colors the right way. And then this, our little protector will go up there like that. I'm going to do that with the other two wires. I'm going to do that with the white wire. And I'm going to do that with the blue wire. Again, our blue wire is going to be the ground. Just like that. Now next, I'm going to utilize these two holes that I already have from the other fan that I had removed. And I'm going to, before I tighten them up, this is just to hold this in place. So I can mark my mount with my little pencil here. Then I can run two anchors and two screws and that's going to be perfect for what we need to do. Now I'm going to make two holes where my marks are. Here's one mark. I'm just going to take a screwdriver and push it right up through there. I'm going to push my anchor up in there and I'm just going to tap it in. Just like that. I'm going to do the same thing with this one over here on this side. Just like I did that one. Your application may be different. You may not have these two holes here. They give you plenty. They give you four anchors and four screws which would be plenty to hold this light up. Now we're going to start putting our screws up in here. Now this cable that's hanging down is to clip onto there and that'll hold that for you while you can get your your wires hooked up. Now what I'm going to do, black is going to go to black, white's going to go to white, and like I said our blue is our ground. It's going to go to ground. And we're going to do that just by Putting a couple wire nuts on. I'm going to do that with the other two. And then we're going to put this up into place. Now we have three screws to put in. There's three holes here. One goes there, one goes there, and one goes there. They are supplied with the unit. Now put the other two in. 
One over here, one over here. We'll wipe it down and try it out. All done. Time to check it out. Okay, now it's time to check this out. First, let's turn the light on. It has a handy dandy remote control. So we're going to use the remote control. We're going to turn the light on. There is three different light settings. It's got white light, yellow light, and natural light. There's the white light. There's the yellow light. And there's the natural. And you can also brighten them or dim them. There's dim. All the way up to bright. This is very user-friendly remote control. It also has a one hour and two hour uh, timer on this remote. So we're going to start with the fan. We're going to go to low. Very quiet. No vibrations. We're going to go to medium. Now we're going to go to high. And there is a stop button on your remote control that'll stop it. And then you can turn off the light like that. Or you can use the switch. This is perfect for a child's room or an elderly person's room, which that is what this, incidentally, this fan is in. It's in my mother-in-law's room. Seems to be of a good quality. It was easy to set up. You don't have to pair the remote control. It's all ready to go. It's plug and play. You hook it up, put batteries in your remote, and it's ready to go. Okay, guys, so there you go. That was um, really easy to set up, and it actually covered the hole from the other fan. Now, if you noticed, there was a red wire hooked up. That's because someone, when they put all these fans in, they put two switches, one for light and one for the fan this one you don't need that you only need the one switch so don't be alarmed if you have two switches you're not going to use that red wire put a wire nut on it just use your black white and your green in my case i use the blue wire for my green wire which is your ground so you have your live your neutral and your ground that's the only three wires you have to worry about so yeah it's um very nice. I'm, I'm telling you what, I'm impressed with that fan. And the fan is also reversible. We'll let it stop here. On the remote control, there's a red button up on top. While that is running, you hit the red button. You'll hear that beep. It will slow down automatically, stop automatically, and then reverse itself in the other direction. And there it goes. Very neat. Beautiful piece. So guys, there you go. There will be a link in the description down below in case you're interested in one of these. I'm really impressed with how much air that is moving opposed to that big giant fan that was up there and this thing looks really nice it's gorgeous so though i'll put a link in the description below so if you have any questions please comment and i'll answer them the best of my ability there is an instruction here instructions very simple guys if you've ever hung a ceiling fan up before any D di wire can do this their self so yeah i'm very impressed I love all the functions, and I like that it's remote control for her mom. So, um, now depending on whether should you have it blowing down in the summer and things like that, to me, what makes sense is in the summertime, like the big fans, I usually have it sucking the hot air up. Keep the hot air up here. We all know hot heat rises. So that's what I do. I turn them on backwards so that way the cold air stays down here, the fan sucks the hot air up. 
and in the winter I have it blowing down because again the heat heat rises it blows the heat back down on you again it could be just a matter of preference whatever you want to do but that's the way I usually do them um, a lot of people think you should have it blowing on, on you but on really hot days let's say you don't have air conditioner in a room or something like that and if you have that blowing down on you you can actually feel it blowing hot air on you and if you turn it around to where it runs backwards it sucks that hot air up it actually makes you cool down more because it's sucking hot air up past you um, that's just the way I've always done it it makes sense to me but you can do it however you want to do it especially with this thing so thanks for watching guys appreciate it Shea Bear the myth the man the legend I'm gone for now we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye and take care Very nice.